Again, Paul, another manager that doesn't look particularly happy, does he? Uh, Antonio Conte at this moment in time. Obviously, we'll come on to how this week's gone for them. But from your point of view, when, when you see a manager with that type of demeanour, he seems fairly cut and dried with what he's got. He's quite happy to work with those players. Do you read more into that and say, well, I might want players, but whether I'm going to get them is another thing? Oh, obviously he wants players. I think, that, you know, the, the squad that they've got now at Chelsea, yeah. even if they all stayed the same next season, the Man City squad and the Chelsea squad, Chelsea ain't chasing them down. Mm. You know, they need, they need players, Chelsea, in my opinion. Last season, they played once a week. They mm -hmm. played once a week and it was it's such an advantage. It's mm -hmm. such an advantage, especially with the way they played. With the three at the back, they had two wing-backs that virtually played every single match and it's a graveyard shift. Running up and down there, Alonso and Moses doing that every Saturday, it's OK, or every mm -hmm. Sunday. When you've got to do it Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, it's a hard job getting up. And you're... Last season, one was crossing the ball, the other one was finishing at the mm. far post. So yeah. that's, where, that's where they needed to invest, in my opinion. I don't think they're having the worst season in the world. Mm. I just think Man City have, have done them. If you look at the record of Chelsea when they win the league, this is a good season. Mm -hmm. You know, you like last time they were blown <laughs> the out. They the were bottom, bottom half. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, it's, it's a hard one. I, I don't see Hazard being there next season. Mm. I don't. And I think that's why Barkley was brought in for 15 million to work under him now and then when Hazard... I'm sure Real Madrid are going to come in for Hazard. They, they're desperate, Real Madrid. They're a bad team at the moment. Mm. They need to buy some of the best players in the world and Hazard... Does, does, it, does it strike you as, as we see them kind of lurch around this corner, perhaps, and when we say Christ, you talk about in the context of Chelsea and as, as Paul says about when they win the league, what comes the next season. If you look at perhaps Eden Hazard looking elsewhere and, and with regard to what the managers said about his position within the club and how the club's being run, if you like, does, do we then see another mini kind of Chelsea crisis around the corner? I, I, th I think we can always use... The, the word crisis always gets put out there. Is, mm. there's levels it's all of, relative to each club, exactly. of course. There's, mm. there's levels of crisis at, at different places. And I think, you know, in regard to Hazard, he's been at the club for quite a long time. Mm. And sometimes, you know, you, you, you run your course at a club mm. and you need a different challenge. You need a fresh challenge, maybe. That could be the case. But for me, Ch Chelsea need another striker so, so badly. We were talking about Morata beforehand and... We both like him. I think he's done mm. well, but he's played nearly as many minutes. He's played more minutes already than what he's ever played in a whole season. Well, that, whole I mean, that, season. that's reflective of Chelsea this year, though, isn't it? We look at Chelsea. Yeah. They've played 38 games so far. That's across the top five leagues of Europe. That's the most. And the big thing, the big finger that was pointed at Chelsea last season was, well, they should win the Premier League because they've got no other commitments. Yeah, no, I think, and I think that's a huge. It was a huge bonus from that. They played the same starting eleven every week. Mm -hmm. Everyone knew their job. Forty-seven you, games you, in total. You, you last also year. get in a rhythm of playing. Mm -hmm. And I think what an understanding with a different. I uh, think so, and teammates. I think the manager gets mm. in the rhythm as well. Mm. And I think this he's had to chop and change for different competitions this year, and all of a sudden it becomes a bit muddled, mm -hmm. and people aren't on the same page. And that's how I, you know Hazard's playing the, the lead striker role because he's mm. not, he's not, he doesn't fancy uh, Bashwai enough yeah. to put him in. I think mm. you look at City, you've either got Aguero or Jesus. You've even Man United had Lukaku or Sanchez. That Is can that purely money then? As in, the owners are prepared to spend that money on that group of players, that amount of players. And Roman Abramovich has got to the point where he said, well, we won this league last year, so we're obviously strong enough. Is that, yeah, is but, that, too, is that too straight a line to draw between? I don't, I don't. <laughs> I, I, this man's a multi-multi-millionaire. You know, very rare dopey people are multi-multi-millionaires. <laughs> no, being honest, very this true. man's a shrewd man. Yeah. He's a shrewd man. He's been in this game a long time at Chelsea. He's looking at the picture and he's thinking, well... Let's be honest. If I spent two hundred million pounds tomorrow morning, mm. am I getting near? To, am I going to get near Man City at the mm. moment? No, I'm not. You know, could I have gone and got Sanchez? Probably. Probably could have paid three hundred and fifty grand a week. Probably. That three hundred and fifty grand mm -hmm. then gets Hazard knocking on the door, Kante knocking on the door, Morata, mm. and before you know it, five players are getting that. Chelsea's, Chelsea owning holds 40,000 tops. Mm -hmm. Man United seventy thousand. I mean, at the moment. I think Chelsea just got a hope to get in the top four. I think if they get in the top four, I don't think it's been a bad season. But then, Real Madrid, I keep on going back to it, Real Madrid are having a nightmare. Mm. So they're going to go looking. Who can they buy? Hazard. Who's the best holding midfield player in the world now at the moment? Probably Kante. They're going to, they're going to have a it's, treasure it's chest. It's unrealistic, though, for Chelsea to think that they can compete properly in all those competitions 
with one centre forward yeah. that he feels is fit to play that well, role. The most embarrassing. It's unrealistic. It just, mm. it just can't happen. It's the names that have been touted around. Now, no disrespect, you know, I'm, a, I'm a Peter Crouch. It's surprising, though, if you to say that. And mm. the surprising, I mean, mm. you get Jekko, Jekko's good. Yeah. I mean, I, I love Peter Crouch. He's one of the nicest lads I've met. And when he was younger, he was a top player. But you, you, if you was a Chelsea fan now and a season ticket holder and Peter Crouch is coming, you'd be seriously be yeah. saying, What's that? But it just shows you how badly he needs somebody to play that role, though, doesn't exactly. he? He's crying out for somebody exactly. else to step but When Morata's not available, he surely you go and get Jekko, didn't you? I mean, mm -hmm. 30 million. Because Jekko, he won't be a stopgap. No. If Jekko starts, if he starts well, he's in the team. He could compete with Morata oh, yeah, uh, and, and yeah. take his place. Yeah, yeah no problem. But, you know, at the moment, I just. I just it, without being disrespectful, it's, it's a bit embarrassing with some of the names that are being touted mm. around for Chelsea mm. Football Club, mm. you know, in the Champions League. It's like, it's like, oh, I've just found some change down the side of the, down the side of the sofa. Who do I get? Do you mm. know what I mean? It's like, Chelsea, they've got to go up here. Mm. If they don't, they're, they're going to get left behind. And, and they're not eschewing for the top four at the moment. Mm. And if they don't get I mean, in the top four... Shades of Arsenal and what we've discussed over the recent years with yeah. regard to their frugality, if you like. It could be, it could be. It changes around at where Man City were five, six, seven, eight years ago. You know, it's, it's sort of spinning around. And if you don't stay, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a massive believer, and I say it all the time. I see it with Man City a few years ago when they won the league and they didn't do it. There's a, there's a, there's a fast food shop out there on the high street. They're the biggest in the world, right? They, they sell more burgers, they sell more chips than anybody else. Mm -hmm. They still do adverts. Mm -hmm. And that's the point. When you win something, you have to go again and buy players. You can't just go, oh, well, that's it. Well, we won that, so I'll just keep the same team. Just to bring Morata in, you need, you need him but more than it, that. It does ask questions about the, <clears throat> how fluid the, the setup there is from the board through to the manager yeah. who's making... It does raise questions <laughs> when you yeah. think that they're not taking action. There, there's, there's a question mark there maybe with Bramwich thinking, I'm not sure... How you know whether I'm trusting the people to buy the right mm. players or yeah. what have you? Because they don't seem to be very active no, for me in the transfer no. market. Well, hopefully, Mets will keep the metaphors coming. But now we can hear from Antonio Conte. He's not exactly kept his counsel regarding Chelsea's recruitment policy. There are uh, uh, different situations. Sometimes uh, uh, you can have an uh, impact on this. Uh, sometimes uh, you can not have an uh, impact on this. But. My first task is to uh, uh, to do my job and uh, to uh, to be a coach and to try to improve my my, my players. But uh, uh, yeah, for sure, I don't have a big impact on the transfer market. That's a huge statement from the Chelsea manager. From the reigning Premier League champion Chelsea manager, I have no impact in the transfer market in market on my club. How can that be the case? Well, that, that, it just goes over what we've, what we've just spoken about. It has mm. to be the case, you know. For me, it, it doesn't make sense to, to not build on what they did last season, knowing that you're coming into a Champions League season as the Premier League champions. It's, it's just paramount that, you, that you're covering every position mm. twice over because the amount of games and stress that the players are going to be under to perform at a high level, if you want to carry on that winning mm. and those mm. standards... Does that surprise you? you? When you hear... When we do hear managers of, of certain sizes of clubs talk about fixture congestions, hectic schedules, should there be that opinion of it of, well, the, the money's there to buy two, not separate 11s, but two 11s of players that are world-class? That blend in with yeah. each other and you blend them in and that's, that's the management role of... And you, and you of work the rhythm of the season, dropping someone in. People who are in form, mm -hmm. you play, you know, and, and you juggle it around all mm -hmm. season. That's when, for me... It becomes really difficult when you can play that set eleven. I think every manager wants to play a set eleven, don't yeah, they? Yeah, of course. You look yeah. at the great teams that have won the Premier League over the years. More often than not, they've had a real set starting eleven that, 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 and, and formation that hasn't changed for the whole season. I think when you're looking to win multiple trophies, it's very, very difficult to do that, and that's a sign of a great squad and a great manager. Mm. And and we, Tottenham, we, Tottenham have found, found it this season. Tottenham have got, a, I would say, a good eleven, good twelve, or good thirteen. You, they haven't got a squad of 22 where if one of their 11 come out of the team, whoever comes in the team will not make it better or the same. They will, they will weaken the team. Mm -hmm. Whoever comes into that starting 11 at Tottenham. And that's a bit like Chelsea, which five, six, seven years ago, that weren't like good at Chelsea. No. Chelsea mm -hmm. had... They had 22 internationals, yeah. you know. If the right-back was injured, another international right-back come in and the team would never be... Mm -hmm. And, and that, that's the problem... That's why Man City are running away from it, in my mm. opinion, because whoever comes into their team, it, 
you know, if Jesus plays up front or Aguero plays, mm -hmm. you're not going to miss either, either one whoever plays. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Sterling plays or if Sane plays and, you know, if Silva come in, who don't even get a game really from, you know, so for me, you need a squad. And at the moment, Chelsea, what it's telling me really is, I'm not giving you the money because you ain't going to be there. Well, is, is not, you ain't going to be there is next season. It's not only about no. the players that it brings in, but the players that have gone. Diego Costa, obviously, there was a, a, a quite a definite falling out there. But from what you hear about how Nemanja Matic left to go to Manchester United, it was it didn't even seem like there was a, a, too much of a fight put up, was there? No, I mean, I, I think I think Chelsea thought they were going to get Lukaku. I mm. think that's why the Costa situation sort of happened there. But is that I obviously mean, Chelsea the high rag to handle that situation? Of course, better? yeah. It's like it's like Arsene Wenger gets absolutely slaughtered. You know, oh, why is he letting Sanchez go to Man United? Why, why Van Persie go? But when Chelsea let Matic go, it was yeah. like, oh, I don't know. It was very quiet. That's really mm. nice. That yeah. was nice of them. Yeah. You know, it was like Czech went to Arsenal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was loyal, so I let him yeah. go wherever he wants to go. But, you, you know, for me at the moment, I just, it just sort of tells me upstairs a, a, a sort of saying, I'm not going, if, you, if Matt was the manager now, I'm, I'm not going to give you £50 million because yeah. I, I, don't, I, I don't think you'll be in it. Mm. I, I still also think that you can to a certain degree, cover up a lot of positions in the pitch and it isn't as important. I'm just, for me, just that number nine role is like, mm. you're only as you're good never, as your you, centre forward. Well, when, you're, never when gonna, you're, you're never ever going, I, I can't off the top of my head ever thinking anybody's ever won, a, ever won the Premier League with one centre forward. No. You know, you, I mean, some teams have three and four. Yeah. But also as a centre forward in his debut season in the Premier League. Yeah. Who hasn't proven that he's going who, to do it in the Premier League? Who never played all the time, and who's not capable of getting the games yeah. in his body and doing the minutes on the pitch yeah. at the intensity that he requires? He's going to need a season of breaking in. So you've gone into your Premier League season with a centre forward who's not tried and tested yet at that yeah. at that capacity, with with a backup in Bashwai who they don't, they who don't, who he doesn't do want to play. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not going to happen for them. We've got a tweet here, and thank you very much for tweeting in. Does, uh, does Antonio Conte need to win a trophy this season to remain as Chelsea manager? I th yeah, I, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. I think, given what they did last year, I think the expectation's there for them to win something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I would say winning a trophy is a very important thing for the I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of him, a massive fan. I don't think he'll be there anyway. Mm. Because of the way Chelsea go about it, or because I, I think the whole thing, I think uh -huh. the whole package, I think the, the way he is, I think the way I, I was at Chelsea the, the last week when they played Norwich, and it, it just it doesn't look right. Mm. It doesn't but, seem that. But look what he's just said. And there, yeah, of course. So you know, I just I, I just think, and I'm a big fan of his. I think he's a great manager. I really do. Mm. But I, I'd be shocked if he was manager of Chelsea next season. So crisis for you coming around the corner, do we see? Oh, Looming on the horizon, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yes or no? I wouldn't say crisis. <laughs> I mean, if I, you know, I'm a Chelsea fan. I mean, if someone said to me, you're going to win the league and then you're not going to win it next year and you might win it again in two years, it's that's a lot better than a lot of other teams. Isn't that just life at Chelsea? Yeah. Yeah. As I in, said, in the, all the, crises the, are relative, aren't In they? the close history, that's just the, life at but Chelsea. But if you go by their form over the last five, six, seven, eight years, it's what's happened. It's worked. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been bad. No. So, you no. know... They've won a lot of trophies. The owner, the owner knows what he's doing and you, you can't knock him. There's no doubt about that.